Charlie is a 37-year-old who wants nothing more than to be smart. Dr. Strauss and Miss Kinian want to help Charlie achieve his dream, so they require him to keep a journal. Charlie takes a test where cards with ink blots on them are placed before him, also known as a Rorschach test, and he has to use his imagination to tell the doctor what they remind him of. Charlie, however, believes that he is supposed to find pictures within the cards, so he is frightened when he is unable to find any. This causes him to believe that he failed the test. Charlie finds that the Rorschach test is insignificant and that he is still eligible for the experiment. He has a thematic apperception test where he is supposed to make up a story about what he sees in the picture, which fails on account of him not wanting to lie. He also tries the Amaze test, where he is pitted against a mouse named Algernon, and he must finish a maze before him. Algernon, however, beats him every time. Charlie is selected for the experiment after hearing the two doctors argue. He will be the first person to have their IQ tripled by surgical means, which br will bring his IQ to a 204. Finally, the doctors finish arguing and Charlie shakes Dr. Nemore's hand, reassuring him that it was a good decision to choose him. Charlie is at the hospital waiting for the surgery and receiving candy from all the staff he comes across. He is nervous about the operation and he is very superstitious. He carries a rabbit's foot, a lucky penny, and a horseshoe. The doctors reassure him that everything shall be fine and they also take away his candy because he wasn't supposed to eat candy before an operation. Charlie has the operation and finds out that they performed it while he slept. He learns the correct spelling for progress and report. He also learns that in his progress reports, he is only supposed to write about what he feels and not everything that happens to him. Charlie goes back to work and he believes that his co-workers, who actually bully him, are his friends. Dr. Strauss gives Charlie a small television set to play while he sleeps. He finds that the TV just ends up keeping him awake at night. Charlie finds out that he will also no longer be attending Miss Kinian's class. Rather, she will come specially to teach him while he's in the uh, hospital. Charlie learns how to turn the volume down so that he can now sleep. He also finally beats Algernon in a race and befriends him. He starts to read and spell at a higher level by reading Robinson Crusoe. Charlie also tries his hand at punctuation and after reading a book, he figured out how to use it correctly. When invited to a party by his so-called friends, Charlie learns that he was actually the butt of all of their jokes. He feels, for the first time, ashamed. Charlie still feels upset about being clueless to the harassment he suffered at work. He is beginning to obtain an eidetic memory, or a photographic memory, where he can recall certain pages of a book right down to the period. His co-workers seem to be ignoring him, and with no one else to turn to, he asks Mrs. Kinian to dinner to celebrate his bonus. When asking the doctors for permission, he overhears their arguments and realizes that they see him as an experiment, nothing more. On his date with Mrs. Kinian, Charles realizes that he has grown affectionate towards her. He is in love with Miss Kinian. Charles's intelligence boost has spooked his co-workers into signing a petition to fire him. In fact, it has increased so much so that he has even surpassed the doctors. Charles finds that no one is who they appear to be on the surface. He also discovers that he can no longer communicate with Miss Kinney. While eating at his usual diner, 
he finds a boy who has a mental disability. When people make fun of the boy for dropping a dish, Charles barks back at them, defending the boy, and by doing so, defending a piece of him. He sees the boy as himself not too long ago. Charles decides afterwards that he wants to work in the field of neuroscience. For the first time, Algernon bites Charlie, which is signaling the regression of his increased intelligence. Charlie begins to scramble to find the answer to this decline in mental capabilities. He begins to research and starts to see the decline in Algernon, realizing that when the time comes, his own deterioration will be much the same. He starts to become unable to read books he just finished and enjoyed, and got lost after forgetting where he lived. He begins forgetting a whole lot of what he has done, and he cannot even understand his past proper supports. He can no longer type due to impaired motor activity, and he doesn't let anyone come in. Charlie is forgetting his grammar and spelling, and his proper supports become more elementary. When a doctor comes to see him, Charlie is insulted at the way he is treated. When Miss Kinnian comes to see him, he doesn't let her in, and they both cry. When he asks for his job back, everyone seems to be kind to him, and he is grateful for having friends again. After accidentally going back to the adult class due to a fugue of amnesia, he decides that he wants to go somewhere where no one will remember the pre-Charlie or Charles. By the way, I almost forgot to put some flowers on the grave for Algernon.